Hi everybody, Rachel here from ReachTheStamper.com. I recently saw that someone shared a really cool card. It uses the Handsomely Suited Bundle and the Camouflage Background Stamp Set. This is retiring. The Handsomely Suited Bundle will be carrying over. Um, I created this using two different colors though, so I saw their idea, but I thought it would look really neat with Soft Succulent and Evening Evergreen. Now, I have not made one of these, so hopefully it's gonna turn out the way I want. But again, the Camouflage Background Stamp will be going away. It is available, I believe, until May 3rd. May 3rd? Yes, May 3rd. So make sure if you don't already have this, you want to grab it soon. And maybe if you already do have it, you can make this card. Essentially, what they made this to look like a military uniform. Not a uniform. I believe it is the BTUs. I could be wrong. I, I can never remember what it is, but basically fatigues are what we're using. So I made this card a little bit smaller only because this was all that I had. So this is using soft succulent paper. It measures eight by five. It's scored in the middle at four. So this one is a little bit smaller. This measures four, uh, three and three quarters by four and three quarters. So it's just going to be a little layer here. So we're going to actually do a little bit of the stamping first. I also have just the thank you. And then I have a scrap piece of Evening Evergreen. So Evening Evergreen and Soft Succulent are two of the new in colors, which are really cool. I'm super excited to use. So this stamp I haven't used yet. This is the first time, as I said. So hopefully this card is going to turn out nicely. So I'm going to use Evening Evergreen. And I'm going to ink up this stamp. And when I have background stamps, I tend to just ink them up in the case because sometimes I find them easier to use that way. You could do it whatever way you prefer. But so I'm just going to ink this up. Kind of sad that this one is carrying over. And in being 100% honest with you, I just got this stamp set because I was going to, I was planning on getting it. I just hadn't gotten it yet. And I thought, well, I'm not going to let this slip away because my son is in love with all things camo. So I know I could use it for something. So I'm going to just take my layer of cardstock and lay it down kind of where I think I want it, just like so. Once you lay it there, you just want to take a scrap piece of paper and just kind of press over. If you want to push harder, you could also use your bone folder. Be careful so you don't give yourself paper cuts and I'm gonna lift this up just like so which looks super cool so I'm gonna do the same thing just with this little piece here because I want to make a pocket so I'm actually gonna just ink it just in a small space because I don't need very much and I'm gonna take this little strip this is just a scrap piece of soft succulent and a scrap piece of Evening Evergreen because I want to try to carry it to this. I don't know how well it's going to work, but we'll see because it is a pretty thin strip. I'm just going to press both of those down and I'm going to fold just so I don't have any ink smudges. I'm actually going to just fold this inside out and press. Okay, just like so. Lift those. That's enough there. And there's a piece. Actually, that looks really cool. So if you wanted to do this with dark with the Evening Evergreen and the Evening Evergreen ink, it would look really cool. I'll clean this off later. And before we finish, I'm actually going to stamp this onto just a... Actually, I wanted to do it onto here. So I'm going to kind of just give this an eyeball. And I think that the black will be dark enough that you will be able to see it. So I'm going to attempt to make sure this is centered. And you know what, since I'm using the VersaFine ink, which is not a Stampin' Up! ink, but I really like it, I'm going to wait until afterwards because if I run it through the die cut, it will smudge. So I'm going to die cut this. So excuse me for that sidebar there. I'm going to die cut that. I'm going to die cut the little layering piece that goes over the pocket out of the evergreen. And then, hopefully that's going to stick. Finally, I'm just going to make a little V in the uniform shirt so the lighter soft succulent will show through to the darker so I'm just kind of eyeballing where I want that all right and I want to put all of those on my die cutting machine I should be able to cut these all at once put that one up top this one on the side and this one at the bottom that looks good you could also enhance this if you wanted to after um, doing the background stamp if you wanted to run this through with maybe the subtles embossing folder would also give a little bit of texture dimension to it which I think would also add to it so let me make sure this feels like it's crooked so make sure that's reasonably straight that's good this one has enough space that no matter where it goes it'll still cut okay so I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine. So 
Sorry, I had a little malfunction over here. Okay. And I'll just bring this back. This slid totally out of place, so this post-it tape has lost its sticky, so I'm going to have to trash that. But we have this little piece which I really do like the dark now that I look at the evening evergreen. You can only slightly see it, but it's good enough for effect, which is what I wanted. So there's that. And we have our pocket. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to assemble the pocket and then I will stamp it. That way I have less chance of smudging it. One other thing you could do, let me just move these over. And this would just be for another uh, deepening of the color. So I'm just going to take my Evening Evergreen and give you a little bit more depth to your card and a, and a sponge, which these are retiring, so make sure you have them. I'm sure you can get them anywhere, but still, I have plenty. I'm just sponging the edges. I'm not going to do this because it's way too dark to notice, but I'm also going to do the edge of the fatigues especially here at the neck as best I can because it will really make it stick out from the background. I like doing cards like this also that are really fast, a fast card that you could pr produce for someone if you needed to. These would be great to give out uh, Memorial Day or for I don't know if you would give them out necessarily for flag day but you know just to show our service members how much they are appreciated i'm going to take this and just put a little bit of glue in the back it doesn't need a lot just a teeny bit that's actually probably a little bit too much and i'm just going to add this here and yeah just a little i got a little squirt out there it's okay You can see it will dry clear, but it is kind of popping through those little stitched holes. So while I have the chance, I'm going to set this here and I'm just going to stamp thank you. You could always add something else additionally to the inside. This stamp set also has a you are the best. So I'm just inking that up. I think this would be a great uh, card that you could also create for our police officers. So maybe not with fatigues, but... You could just do blues. That'll be a nice card. Nice card if you want to do a dress uniform for police officers. You could do, depending on if you have a specific color where you are. Put that there. And then I'm going to put this up on dimensionals. And I have a couple. You could use black since this is a color cardstock and not white because black dimensionals will tend to kind of show through a little bit. Just like so. This would probably also make a really great, the other thing you could have done if you wanted to add something to this, even though I've already glued it, is you could probably have put a white layer underneath and then used the circle uh, the layering circles to cut like a neckline, like a crew neckline if you wanted to. This would also make a great card for a medical professional because this does also look very similar to a scrub shirt. So something else you could use it for there as well. You could change the colors to blues instead of greens or you could use a base of crumb cake with soft suede would probably look really nice as well. So again, you could add you're the best on the inside if you wanted to. This could be a great military appreciation or Father's Day card. And the great part about the handsomely suited is it does come in a bundle. I am believing the bundle is carrying over the bundle price, but I always like to make sure that I double check. So I'm going to just peek through and I will put a note on our page here in case it doesn't but again this stamp set is retiring the sponges are retiring these two colors however are brand new so the evening evergreen and the soft succulent those are two of the new ink colors i'll show you the other ones that go with it we also have polished pink so if you wanted to do like a pink scrub shirt would be really cute and then we also have pale papaya and fresh freesia so really pretty color scheme these are our brand new in colors these will be available starting may 4th
If you have any questions about the product used or what we did with this specific card, please feel free to reach out and let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. All you have to do is click the little red subscribe button that's down there. And while you're at it, if you turn on the bell to all notifications when I make a recorded or a live video, it will alert you so you know. Thank you so very much. The greatest thing you can do for me if you aren't able to make a purchase is to leave a comment, to give me a like, or to share this with a friend. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day.